Good morning, John. Five months. Five months. Of using only titles that appear in Smash Mouth's All-Star. Five months. And as of this title, not the best one in the history of the channel, we have now used all of them. Every word in the song. Like, it's so good to be done. It's so good. It feels good. It means nothing. But regardless, we assigned value to it, and now I am so, I just, I'm amazed. I'm proud of us. We began this stupid idea on April 21st, 2020. A moment at which we were all kind of starting to get used to the idea that there was a big deal occurring and that our lives would be changed significantly for a long period of time. It has been nice to have the constancy of this meaningless endeavor throughout that somewhat difficult time. This isn't just a thing that didn't make sense. It made negative sense. It, w it made things worse. Not only because, like, occasionally the creator of the work that you are sort of memeing on top of will do something dumb. But also because like YouTube titles matter. Ask any YouTube creator. They think about them a lot. It's how, it's one of the main tools we have for getting people to watch our content. And, and like giving away that power, it makes no sense. No one would do that. But John, we were excited about doing it for two reasons. First, constraint is inspiring. Not like every constraint, but like adding constraints can actually really like juice up the creative process. So while I occasionally hated myself for making this decision, also there were moments that were like, oh, I can't believe that this is such a good idea and I never would have had that idea without this constraint. Second, and more importantly, I think that we both wanted to prove to ourselves something that we like think that we believe, but we weren't sure that we believed. And that's that we don't want to grow this channel anymore. Like we've said it to each other. We said it out loud, but like it's different than actually like enacting a policy that intentionally limits growth. Like I like growing stuff, but I think it's very important to understand your goals and how your goals inform your strategy, right? And a lot of times it's the easiest goal to have is to grow, to get bigger. With Crash Course and SciShow, like that's what we want. We want to reach more people with more stuff so that we can educate more people and have more people be passionate about learning. That's the goal there. The goal here? is not that. It's, this is about uh, creating a community. There's a size at which that feels less real. This place is a breeding ground for ideas, for weirdness, for community, for change. It's about enabling other things that could be big deals, like Crash Course. And so in a really real way, this is more about connection and engagement than it is about size of audience. And I think that after a certain size, you actually get less of those other things. And how do I know that this is really what this channel is about? Well, John, we gave up the ability to title our YouTube videos, one of the main ways we have of reaching audience. So an important metric is over the last five months, how far have we fallen? Not at all. No drop. No drop! This makes no sense. It makes, it just doesn't. That's how I know that this is a different thing. That's how I know that this is special. This has been a five month long dumb experiment that has actually taught me a lot and has also really inspired me for some new things that I think we can do together. But regardless of the reasons I enjoyed it, I am ecstatic that it's over. And remarkably, considering how poorly planned this was, we have completed the project the video before pizza mess. So for the next two weeks, starting on Monday, John and I are gonna go back and forth making videos like we did back in 2007, one every weekday. Can't wait, I'm very excited about it. And also the titles of those videos are going to just be anything. They could be anything. That is exciting and terrifying. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.